Hello everybody, it's Dave here from Rose to Freedom and I just wanted to uh, speak to you today about um, what I regard as the keys to uh, being able to uh, manage your health and fitness well as you get older. So a couple of days ago I had my 62nd birthday, believe it or not, yeah, and uh, although the number is a bit scary, um, the fact is that uh, I probably couldn't have imagined that I would feel as well as I did um, at the age of 62 when I was about 20 or 30. I probably never even imagined I'd live this long. Uh, so uh, what, how do I attribute, what, to what do I attribute this um, reasonably good health? I'm not in perfect health. Uh, nobody ever is. We're all on a continuum somewhere from rock bottom to super healthy, I guess, and none of us are at either of those extremes, but I'm somewhere along the way. Um, but the main things that I found personally are um, keeping active, so mentally and physically. Uh, so it's, it doesn't have to be extreme. Um, I've done some pretty extreme things in the past. Um, uh, more recent times, things like um, Ironman distance triathlons and ultra distance running, extreme endurance events, I suppose some people would say. Um, but I feel I've gained enormously from those, uh, doing those kind of challenges, uh, particularly mentally. It's made me uh, very confident in my own abilities, I suppose. I might even say arrogant, but <laughs> there you go. Um, but it has given me a reserve of. Um, confidence to fall back on, I guess. Um, whether um, there's a price to be paid physically or not for doing those kind of challenges, uh, who knows? Um, although I've not had any serious injuries, I've had a few, um, I've had quite a lot of stiffness and aches and pains recently. Uh, but I guess I'm probably um, in pretty good shape compared with most people of my age. Um, so keeping active, uh, uh, I've always um, taken an interest in um, other things outside of health and fitness, so like foreign languages, I, I enjoy learning foreign languages. Um, I enjoy traveling, uh, meeting different people from different cultures. I enjoy reading about all many different um, subjects, uh, not only health and fitness, but um, history and uh, languages as I say um, and uh, have quite a wide range of interests I'd say. Uh, in terms of uh, what do I do physically to help? Um, well my training now is very different from what it was even three or four years ago. It's more now about um, uh, managing my body I guess so a lot of movement practice uh, uh, I call more sort of staying mobile uh, so it's not static stretching but just um, paying attention to movement and posture um, don't tend to do a lot of um, really high intensity stuff I might every now and again um, just try and keep moving throughout the day really so a lot of walking Got a lot of um, jogging, low intensity jogging. Uh, I do a park run every weekend, um, but it's not really um, to kind of compete at the sh sharp end, I guess, anymore. It's more really about just uh, enjoying being able to carry on using my body uh, because I know it has enormous psychological benefits. Uh, as well as uh, the physical aspect. Um, very rarely do uh, anything with heavy weights or anything like that, but I'd like to do a lot of body weight exercises. I like to get out in nature as much as I can. So I enjoy walking in the woods or by the river um, and just uh, try to connect with nature, which I think is very important. It's also important, I think, to um, have a sense of uh, belonging to your community, so belonging to a group of some kind. Uh, studies have shown that this is really important as you get older, and although a lot of us 
like to think we're islands. Uh, the reality is that we are herd animals um, and that we need to um, have that sense of belonging to, to the group um, in order to thrive and uh, that we can become quite ill if we don't have that. What else? Well, uh, sleep is massively important. I've discovered in recent times, uh, without sleep, you really are on a hiding to nothing. So sleep uh, preparation and making sure you get a good uh, seven, eight hours deep of good sleep every night is, is absolutely crucial for everything. Because if you don't get that, you won't feel like moving, you won't feel like doing anything. Uh, nutrition, obviously, uh, so when I was 30 years old, I just used to eat junk food and uh, drank an awful lot. Uh, but as I've got older, I guess um, I've realised that nutrition has become more and more important to me and uh, very difficult for me to uh, be healthy, let alone um, do the other stuff that I do without focusing a great deal on uh, just trying to keep on top of the nutrition. It doesn't have to be perfect all the time, but if you can get to the point where it's 80, 90% good most of the time, then um, you, you should be doing pretty well and uh, you should be all right. I don't uh, like to take medications. I've not taken any medications for about the last three or four years. And amazingly enough, I've not touched wood had uh, any, not even as much as a cold um, in that time, uh, despite working in close contact with people, obviously in the gym and that quite a lot. Uh, so uh, I do believe strongly that medications very much interfere with human biology and that uh, our bodies are set up in the optimum way, they can heal themselves. Uh, that's not to say that if you've got some kind of medical condition that you shouldn't um, Follow your doctor's advice on this. Um, you can certainly ask lots of questions, uh, ask what the side effects are, ask to see research. Why not? It's your body. So you don't have to take everything as gospel. You are allowed to question things at the moment in, in our society. Um, so, so ask probing questions, you know. Um, why do I need this medication? What are the alternatives? Can you show me the research? Can you point me in the right direction to find out more? So all of those things, um, I believe, are very relevant to health. And it seems to me that um, well, let's not talk any more about medication because uh, I could get myself into trouble. So let's not talk about that. But what else can we say? Um, I don't think there's any necessity for us to become immobile vegetables and decay as we get older. It doesn't, it only happens in Western society that we end up like that. Uh, in hunter-gatherer tribes, they, the old people are still very fit and active and strong. Uh, and live to a ripe old age, still performing all the regular tasks. They don't usually retire. They just find another purpose in the society. So, um, Whereas we're sticking our old people in homes um, and isolating them, uh, or not isolating them, giving them community, I suppose, but um, letting them outsource all their needs to somebody else. Uh, and uh, We need to be independent. We need to have that sense of freedom as well as a sense of belonging in order to, um, to age successfully, I think. So those are just a few of my thoughts, uh, random thoughts um, on the aging process. And I just thought I'd share those with you as it has 62, two days ago. So um, those of you who sent me birthday wishes, thank you very much. And um, if you would like to find more, uh, find out more about the Roads to Freedom programs, which cover um, health and fitness and running particularly and focuses very heavily on the older clientele so 50 plus I guess is kind of my typical client um, age grouping um, so, so so we look at uh, 
health and fitness in that for that age group generally and uh, should be able to point you in the right direction as to what you might need if you're suffering aches and pains or ill health or postural issues or you're a runner who uh, would like to keep running as long as possible um, just get in touch with me so it's dave at rose to freedom um please subscribe to my channel like my videos etc bye